So I just want to show you an example of um, selecting the inverse. Let's say that for some reason I find it easier to select the bottom of this lamp. But it's the bottom of the lamp I want to keep. So I actually want to select, I want to have the other part selected, the part I didn't use, this, the part I didn't get with the selection tool. If I go up to select inverse, it selects everything else from that layer except for the part I originally selected. So when I hit delete, it erases the top of the lamp, not the bottom of the lamp. It didn't erase all the other stuff because that's on different layers. So now I'm just left with the bottom of the lamp and I can uh, make whatever I want out of it. And by the way, you may have noticed that other tools don't work um, when you have stuff selected. So if you want to ever want to get rid of your selection, the easiest way to do it is Control D. Control D stands for deselect. So now I'm back to my elements and I don't have anything selected and I can go on to my next step.